2,444 focus. I want to talk about an intake manifold. I'm going to start off with a map sensor where it goes. This the screw head broke off. So what I had to do, I had used a five, a 332 bit. And ream around the broken screw, or oh, this is plastic on the manifold. Ream around it till I could get a bite on the head. So I can use a vice grip and take it out. So if you ever run into that problem, you want one of these vice grip. Okay? So I put the vice grip on there. This is how it was. If you ever run into this problem, taking it off your map sensor. And I get a good bite on the head, and I spin it out. Just like that. You get this vibe grip at half of it. That's the part number D. You want to get the one with the needle nose. Okay? Small. Six inch long nose. Six, three, eight, seven, zero. So like I say, you need to use a 332 bit and ream it around the broken head till you can get a bite on it. Like how I did. Okay? And I turn it out. Now I did a video on the, the ISC valve. The ISC valve goes right here. All right, this is a new gasket. This is the ISC valve. This is new. I got it from AutoZone. I did a video on it. Okay? So I'm going to put everything attached to this manifold and set it in place. All the components that goes with it. The solenoid, the two solenoids. This is new too, I got it from Amazon. Goes on top, right? All new vacuum tube, 532, four millimeter. All right? And this little tab here, you can replace it, okay? This is one that you push down and release the hose. All right, I got from the junkyard. Now, when I went to the junkyard, there's four focus. Since four discontinue a lot of parts, when I go to the junkyard, I get bolts for the intake manifold, screws to attach the parts to the manifold because majority parts that attach to this manifold uses these type of screws. So I get all these screws because four you can't find it. Okay, get these type of screws with a star in it. Okay, so this came in handy because I broke, since I broke the mop sensor, I got new screws from the junkyard for the new mop sensing. All right, I can see I get the wire connectors so I can test spots. I'm gonna put 12 DC volts, I got for all different. Uh, the electronic part. Instead of using an alligator clip, I can use it. And I got these uh, these retainer clip that hold the holes, the emission holes. Let's see, I got a new one. Okay, I'm gonna put this new one in for the hole. Okay, this is this is new, so it goes in into the intake manifold like that. Huh? Goes just like that. Then your brake hose goes in there. Alright, so. Another thing I want to share to you is I did some experiment at the junkyard with a 2007 intake manifold. Okay, these, see these dampers in here? The old one closes, right? I took this motor off to see if this, the shaft gonna come out, it won't. So this, with the dampers in it, and the shaft, is one piece. You cannot pull it out, okay? You gotta get the whole intake manifold. Okay?
okay? If she always wants to break, all right? So mine here, this piece here broken. So what I did, I put some crazy glue on it. She can hold it in place, okay? The down push is not broken, okay? This is like heating and air conditioning. This uses vacuum air, okay? Got down push in it. It uses air and it uses signal from the computer so the computer can tell what position these dampers is open, okay? This is a correction, you cannot pull these out. Okay, if you have to pull these out and these break, you gotta get a whole new uh, intake and you gotta get it from the junk out because for this continue making 90% of the intake manifold for full focus. So the only place you can get it is at the junkyard. Okay? So this is the crazy glue I use. This is real good. I use this on a lot of the automotive plastic. I got it from Walmart. And it works real good. Alright, so. Now, yes, that talk about the dome on hose. Alright? See that is? That reminds you of something, how it shakes, right? It's 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 sucked in. Alright? It's rubber. Alright? So this caused problem. This is a vacuum. So it sucked the hose in so it stopped the PVC valve from doing its job. So do not buy dome on. Okay? Now I I got the Ford in. I got the four uh, parts in today, and I'm gonna show you the show the hose. This is the Ford hose, okay? Built different. It built with strongness. See so one kink and suck. So that's the part number there. Three S four Z six seven five eight A A. Ford. All right. So if you got a Ford Focus. You want to get the hose from Ford Focus. Do not use the Dorman. Okay? This is built to last. This is nothing like this. Sucks in a rubber that sucks in. And causes you problems. Okay? So this is it here. It come with the two release tabs when you put it on. Okay? And the way you put this on, you put it on just like how this one is. You're attaching this hose here first onto the intake manifold. Then you set it down in there and then attach this one to the PCV valve last. Okay, like I said, these is release stop. You pull it with your needle nose and uh, tighten up on it. Alright. And I'm gonna do it with the, the PCV valve too. When you ever install a PCV valve, you gotta make sure you have an O-ring. Okay, this is your oil separator. You gotta make sure you have an O-ring because you buy aftermarket PCV valve. It do not come with the O-ring, okay? And when you're installing it, you push it, push the PCV valve down to the oil separator till you hear a click. That's mean it's seated into that oil separator. And once it's seated, you put your, your locker nut on. And if you never remove one of these locker nuts, you got two tabs on the, on the side. You get a small flathead screwdriver, like an electronic. And stick it up under one of the tab, and this one end gonna raise up, and you're able to pop this off and pull this PCV valve off. Okay, you gotta put put a little strand in it and push that PCV valve down the wall separator. No, I got the I got the hose too, the the, the heater hose, that from Ford. All right, this is it right here. That's the whole part number there, the KM, right? Dash four eight zero nine. And this is the whole, this is the part number here, 3M4Z-8597-AB. You get it from Ford, so if you never replace this hose, you want to go ahead and replace it. So you ain't got to worry about it busting, all right? Goes right here, exact fit, like the original. And come with a new clip. So how old this clip is, come with a new clip, all right? Because, like I said, the in this sit behind the intake manifold. It's the best time to do it if you never replace it. All right, another thing too is 
this is the fuel sensor hose, okay? See all form? So I went to O'Reilly and got a, this is about two foot long. All right, this is the exact fit. So I'll be using this, I'll be connecting it to right here, the fuel sensor right here and running it down to the intake manifold. All right, this connects the intake manifold, vacuum it, okay? All right, so it connects. Mm -hmm. Run it down, and I'm gonna connect it. Just like that. All right. You feel like you get this hose on board? Okay. But what I might end up doing, I might end up like cutting the end off that's loose and reusing it because it got like a different size in it. If you look at it, right? This, this side here goes to this tube right here. Okay? Goes right here, just like that. Then it runs up to the thing. So all I gotta do is like cut this off here. Or I might just put a component and reuse it because there's nothing wrong with it. It's just loose. So I'm gonna reuse it. Or I can reuse this one. Or use this one. Alright. That's your hose. Now. Oh, I did a video. And these uh, solenoid, EGR solenoid, okay? The company sent me a replacement. The problem is the clip is not have enough clearance to get on the, the, the bracket. So I got dormant. 91-156. It works just like the OEM. Like I said, some Dormant products work good and some don't. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna slide it on. Okay, slide on just like the OEM with ease. This is the bracket here that this EGR solenoid goes on to. This feeds vacuum air to that check valve here. All right? So it slide on just like that, just like the OEM. So you wanna go with Dormant. Okay, you don't wanna go with that other brand that I, I said in a, a video that I made. So it slide on with ease and lock into place. Okay, so you wanna go with Dorman, e, the EGR solenoid, okay? Like the company sent me a replacement and I sent it back. Because like I said, the clip was not designed correctly. So what happened, you put it on there and it's gonna break. So you wanna go with Dorman, all right? Just putting this information out there. Now I got the mark sensor for the intake manifold. Right here. This is it, just like the OEM, okay? It's right here. That other one, it can see or breathe. All right, I have not been changed since the car was manufactured. This is it here. Just like the OEM, all right? I might be the part number right there. And then right here. Okay. So the MOP sensor for the intake manifold. Like I say, you got two MOP sensor. You got one on the intake box, the lower, and then you got one in the intake manifold. All right. Now this is the, this is the original one, the one that came off. So it's in terrible shape, man. Look at the probes. All right. It caused a lot of problems, man. All right. Now I got a new motor control for the intake manifold. 
Dormer. It's right here. I'm gonna replace the old one off of the here. Put this new one. Get it from Amazon. I can see some Dormer products work and some don't. Most of the time they exact fit. But it's the hose. Wherever the hose was made, it was built cheaply. Now they cover up the, uh, the part number. Can't even see it. But anyway, you go on Amazon, four focus, you want to get Dorman, okay? New motor control, I'll be pulling on and then take money for it right here. Alright, it's Dorman. It even got a tech line if you need help. And I call Dorman all the time for tech help, so just sharing this information. And now we're replacing the, the hood hinge. I got one for the left. And one for the right. So is the hood enclosed on right? Time to replace the hood hinge. One of them is the left. And one of them is the right. So. First thing I'm going to do. Replace this. Cool on how. Huh? Then like I said, when you send this and take money for down, this is how the hose is. You wanna put this hose on the intake first and pull the tab off. Okay? Go just like that. And then you set this down in there like that. Let me show you down there. And then you slide the hose on, then you pull the tab off. And that will lock it into place on the PCB valve. Just like that. Alright. Like I clean this manifold up with water. It was filthy. I use a cap cleaner. Clean clean this damper. But the open and close. It's like heating and air conditioning. They got dampers. This use a vacuum air, man. Same thing, same principle. Alright. See? Just like that, it's how free and nice it is. Like I said, you know, I use crazy glue, keep them damper, those are piece down that holds the line in place. All right. I go to the junkyard regular and collect parts, nuts, bolts, everything. Cause you need it, man. You know, so. You just share this information with people. They will know what to do if they run into a situation like how I did, breaking off the screw off of the map sensor. And all right, and like I said, this is the intake mindful gasket right here. You can do price match with uh, Rock Auto and Advanced Auto Customer Service. You call the customer service number and you give them the price of Rock Auto, they will look it up. And you get it for the dish concrete. All right. Later.